welcome to my second tutorial. Um, this one's going to be we're going to convert um, hexadecimal to decimal, and then we're going to convert it from decimal back to hexadecimal. Um, let's start with weighted number systems. What's a weighted number system? Well, decimal is a weighted number system. Hexadecimal is a weighted number system. Binary is a weighted number system. What does that mean, though? Well, what that means is we have placeholders. We have the ones place. That's the weight for the ones place. 16, 256, 256 is the weight for the third place in a hexadecimal number. And um, in decimal, be the hundreds place. We have one, tens, hundreds, thousands in decimal. Well, in hexadecimal, we have one, sixteen, two, fifty-six, four thousand, ninety-six, and so on. It's all powers of sixteen. If you don't know what a power of sixteen is, I'll explain that too. Um, sixteen times sixteen is two hundred fifty-six. 256 times 16, 4096, 4096 times 16, whatever the hell that is, that's what it is for the next spot, and it keeps going. So that's what a weighted number system is. Um, also, we need to understand what the letters are in hexadecimal. Uh, letters represent 10 through 15. So 0 through 9 is the same as, we, as we're used to in decimal. But 10 through 15, 10 is A, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, and F is 15. Um, that's all it is. So if you ever see numbers with uh, letters in it, now you know. that That's not just some weird mistake. It's hexadecimal. Okay. We have 4C3. 4C3, base 16, equals 12, 19, and base 10. How did we get that? Well, here's what we did. We came down here, we broke it down, 4C3, we put the separators, we got 1 place, 16 place, 256 place, and we go 4, take the 4 down, go 4 times, 4 times 256 equals 1024. We go up here, we go C, okay, C, that's 12, so we go 12 times 16. I got this real crappy little C right here. And here's 12 times 16 equals 192. 3 times 1 equals 3. And then add these columns up. 12, 19. Let's try it again. B. What, what is B? B is going to be 11. So B, 11 times 1 is 11. Then we go to A. A is 10. 10 times 16, 160. Go to F. F is 15. 15 times 256, 3,840. 1. 4,096. So 1 times 4,096 equals 4,096. 4,096 plus 3,840 plus 160 plus 11 equals 8,107 in decimal. That's it. Now, let's go ahead. And if hopefully you understood this, if you have any problems, you have any questions, leave me a message. I'll try to address it. Maybe make another video if it's not, uh, you know, getting through. So anyway, here we go. We're going to go ahead and convert decimal back to hexadecimal. This is the same. If you watch the binary tutorial, this is the same actually for any weighted number system. Um, you want to convert it to decimal. Here's how you do it. Um, you take let me if you want to convert to the hexadecimal or binary this is how you do it sorry about that 1219 okay equals 4c3 and 16 so 1219 divided by the base 16 gives you a remainder of 3 76 right here you take it down here 76 divided by 16 you got 4 remainder of 12 12 in hex is c then we come down here. 16 goes into 4 how many times? 0. So we have a remainder of 4. Now, see, I wrote start 4C3, 4C3. Just start at the bottom, work up, work from the left, work right. And you'll have the number right every time. Next problem 8107. 8107 divided by 16. 506, remainder 11. 11 is B. 506 divided by 16, 31, remainder is 10, 10 is A, 31, 
divided by 16, it goes into it one time. Remainder 15 equals F. And 1 goes into 16 goes into 16 goes into 1 zero times. Remainder is 1. And we have 1 F A B. And that's how you do it. I mean anytime you want to convert a base 10 number into another number, divide it by the other number's base if it's a weighted number system. There are positional number systems, but I mean you rarely use them, like gray code. But um, for mathematics and stuff, a weighted number system is going to be more appropriate. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, I hope I've explained it thoroughly. Uh, I'm trying to be, you know, quick about it. There's really not that much to it. If you need to, write down some problems, um, and you can try them out yourself. Make some answers. Go online. They have calculators to convert hexadecimal to decimal, and vice versa. Um, you can check your answers on there, and uh, that's it. The next tutorial, I guess I'm going to go ahead and do octal number system, and which is base eight, and then I'm going to give you guys some shortcuts. In the last tutorial, you guys are going to have shortcuts, and that way you don't have to bring out the calculator for it. You can just do it on paper. And what I like to do is I like to take hexadecimal, convert it into binary, and then go from binary to decimal and vice versa, because hexadecimal converts to binary very easily. And so I'll show you that in the last in the last tutorial. Okay, well thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.